Should people have the right to end their life in the face of a terminal illness? That argument is being taken up at the Capitol today with some emotional testimony. Denver 7 reporter Mark Boyle is live, and Mark, a packed room for this one. That's right, and some uh, unique stories as to why people oppose or support this bill that would allow Coloradans to decide when, where, and how they die. A year and a half ago, I watched my incredibly vibrant 35-year-old sister, Leslie Hollis, be consumed by an aggressive and untreatable form of cancer. Talking about the end of someone's life is left, never and easy. No and as all of her body's energy went into just keeping her vital organs alive, she continued to be alive, but she was not living. But that's what many did today, reliving their deeply personal stories as they pleaded with lawmakers to pass through an end-of-life options bill that would allow people in Colorado to order end-of-life medication when facing a terminal illness. Some expressed opposition for the bill, introduced by Mike Merrifield, over various religious and moral beliefs, as others well, oppose the details in the bill. There's no oversight of the death. Two people could be there. One can leave alive, one can be de leave dead. And, you know, hey, Dad, I've got a special drink for you. What happened? Who would know? In favor of this bill, took about two hours to give their testimony right now. The opposition is giving theirs. This is the first of two bills in as many days that will be introduced on this topic. We'll, of course, continue to listen to this and update you in the next hour. We're live at the state capitol. Mark Boyle, Denver 7. Thanks, Mark. And Brittany Maynard made headlines when she moved from California to Oregon to make her own life under, or to take her own life, rather, under that state's right to die law. This Sunday on Politics Unplugged, Ann sits down with her husband, Dan Diaz, to discuss that decision and why he's now pushing for similar laws in Colorado and other states.